Parliamentarians, candidates, our young people. First, I want to salute our youth leaders and our presenters. I salute them because they did not disappoint us. They were able to persuade you to be here this afternoon. And what a wonderful turnout. We want to thank you so very much that you're here. And uh, we want to indicate to you that we believe that this exercise is well worth it. These days you hear a lot about youth apathy. That the young people are not going to turn out to vote, they're fed up, they've had enough. Most commonly, you hear all politicians are the same. In a sense, I can understand why they would say all politicians are the same, because never before have the people of St. Lucia been so disappointed by a government as they has been by the United Workers' Party in the last few years. But I have news for them. We are not all the same. We are different. We are not like them. A Labour Party government would not have a criminal, a convicted criminal in a cabinet. A Labour government would not have a drug baron in its cabinet. We believe as a party in economic empowerment. We believe that if we can empower our people, then it is the first step to economic emancipation. That is why when we were in office, we insisted that every St. Lucian family should be given the opportunity to own a little piece of land in this country. We believe in equal opportunity for all. We are not interested in your class. We just want you to know, or we just want to know that you are a seclusion. You are entitled to receive any and everything that every citizen gets from a government. We do not believe you should discriminate between and among people. We do not believe you should discriminate between the north and the south, between the east and the west. We believe in one thing, equality for all. Likewise, we believe an equal opportunity for all. We believe that every solution, no matter what the field of endeavor is, should be given a chance to realize what their real potential. That is why we think and believe in the liberating power of education. That is why we will continue to invest in education because it is the key to emancipation. We were the pioneers that made it possible for students to obtain guarantees to go and study overseas. We were the government that made it possible for hundreds of solutions to be trained in the medical sciences in Cuba and to return to this country as medical doctors. We were pioneers. And it is no accident that we were able to create something called universal secondary education. Now, we are going to take that revolution one step further. We are going to make it possible to create universal preschool education for every child in this country. But we have to give our young people more than hope. It's not enough to talk about the possibilities of hope or to excite the imagination. In our view, one of the biggest problems in our country is the alienation among our young people. They do not feel attached. They have no sense of ownership. They don't feel they own their government. They don't feel they own their country. They feel far removed from it. And we believe 
that if we are to create a sense of ownership in this country, we must first do so within our own party. You cannot preach for the country if you do not practice what you believe within your own party. It is pointless to talk to the country about democracy if you don't preach democracy within your own party. It is pointless to talk about shaping new policies for a new government if you do not give everyone within our party an opportunity to shape those policies. So we have started this sense of ownership within our own ranks. And today, we are trying to give you ownership over the policies of the St. Lucia Labour Party. That is why I give you the commitment that at our end we will study very carefully your various proposals and we will seek to give life to those proposals. This is what this exercise has been about. And what a magnificent and successful day it has been. Now, after talking about ownership, it is my turn to give you hope for the future and to say to you, don't be afraid. Look to the future with confidence, you see. Better days are coming. Good afternoon and get home safely.